Hey guys, so today I went to go check out the Joy Healthy Vegan Cafe. Um, I'll link it below. I was actually able to talk to the owner and her name is Joy and um, she makes everything homemade and she was able to um, show me everything and most of the things there are vegan. So she has a lot of um, freeze dried and dehydrated fruits and veggies. She also makes her own ice cream and some cheese dip that's made from cashews. I'm just gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna check it out. I'm kinda just gonna show you what we have here. This is like the popcorn colada. It has cane sugar, pineapple, coconut, and pineapple juice in it. Here's some watermelon chewy crunch. The only ingredient is organic watermelon. And then there's the yellow watermelon. There's some pumpkin pie dark chocolate crunch here as well. Um, it has some flaxseed in it as well. So it's not completely vegan. Um, there are some dairy, and this one looks like there might be some honey in here. Eggplant almond crunch. Okay, this one says portabella cheesy crunch. Yeah, so it's got nutritional yeast as the cheesiness. Um, this is the eggplant Italian spicy pizza crunch. Interesting. Here's some almond butter crunch, and this also has flax seeds. There's some cheesy kale here as well with nutritional yeast. Peppermint dark charcoal kale crunch. Apple Granny Smith dark crunch. And this is all the decor as well. And everything is handmade for the decorations as well. And looks like this is some asparagus and some beet fries. Cherry tomato crunch. This is some peach and grapes. Don Ju pear. I've never tried that before. And then these are non-vegan here. Um, this is watermelon crunch, raspberry crunch. This is a large cantaloupe, more peach, yellow mango, apple honey crisp, green plum cots, cherries and grapes, freeze-dried uh, ice cream, so that's pretty interesting. I really want to try this one. Salted caramel cashew cream with cashew milk. And this is freeze-dried banana cream crunch, also made with cashew milk. And coconut peanut butter choco. This is made with coconut milk. Green plum cots, so I believe she said it's like um, plums and apricots together. And yes, yeah, she said it's supposed to taste like Starburst. So maybe I'll give this a try. Here's some strawberries. Okay, and then this is some ice cream. So this is strawberry ice cream in here. And then this is some um, cookie dough. And you can just eat these right out from the container. I believe that's like vanilla ice cream and probably strawberry and chocolate. Okay. It's good for kids, like when they're teething. Oh. I have gala and I also have honey crisps. Okay. And then this is the big beet section. Okay. This is the microgreen salad, which okay. is directly from the farms. And I oh. mix them up. This is the spicy, this is the non-spicy. The cheese dip, this is the spicy, this is the cheddar, and the non-spicy. Okay. They're really like one of the top notch for me. Okay. So if you guys can taste it, maybe you will know what it is. Okay. So this is what you wanted to do that too, so. Okay. That's one thing that's that's. Oh, and that would be spicy. good with? That one with asparagus. Asparagus yeah, too, um, yeah. Because kind of, it's a cheese dip. Oh, okay. So it's like a dressing, but it's a cheese dip. Okay. But with nachos, the cheddar is nachos. This is a different kind. This is the banana. This is the peanut butter. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Peanut butter, so I say half and half because there's space. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter with raspberry. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter with raspberry. And this is the cheesecake. Oh, okay. Strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, that, that was get. really good. Yeah, and it's totally different taste than what you get from the fresh one. Oh. And this is the blueberry, see? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Booby and delicious. You see that? It's, it's still sizzling. Oh yeah, sizzling. can you hear? See, it's, it's sizzling, it's popping out. Wow, that's so, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's so different, it's because it's not the fresh one. Mm. See? Oh. 
Oh my gosh, that's really good. We had all the treats. Thank you. Mm. That one is the banana. Mmm. Taste mm. the banana? Yeah. Right Tea hydrator? Okay, how's the, the black seeds? This is the pineapple black seeds. Oh, okay. This is a good one too. Okay. Just got made. You can smell the pineapple. See? It smells like candy. Mmm. Yep. <laughs> all right, thank okay, you. Thank you. Yeah. I did get a few different items and I'm going to try them out and I'll let you know what I think of them. So first off, we're going to try the peanut butter raspberry ice cream. And they come in different shapes. And here we have the ice cream. Mm. That's really good. It's sweet, but not too sweet. And you can really taste the peanut butter and the raspberry. Um, yeah, so that's good. I'm gonna go put this away before it melts. Okay, so next I have the asparagus. And I'm going to try this with the cashew cheese dip. And this is the spicy one. So I'm gonna try this asparagus by itself first. Wow, that's really fresh. I'm gonna dip it in the cheese. Mmm, wow. The cheese is really amazing. It's really good. Mmm, asparagus is really fresh and it's a really good snack. Um, and the cheese is phenomenal. It's really creamy. It has a really good texture. Uh, and the flavor is really cheesy. And it has just enough of a hint of spice in it. So um, that's really good. I really recommend it. Okay, so next up, I am going to try the eggplant Italian spicy pizza crunch. Wow, that's really good. It's like a pizza flavored Pringle, but on a freeze dried eggplant. So it's way healthier. And it tastes really fresh. You can still really taste all the um, herbs and the tomato flavors. So next up, I am going to be trying the green plum cot. They're plum and apricot. Um, the owner said that it does, it tastes like Starburst, so I'm super excited. Mmm, it's really good. It's obviously not like, not a Starburst, but the flavor is really good. There's a hint of sweetness and then also a small hint of sourness, but just because of how it's like the apricot and plum sourness. Um, but it's really fresh and delicious. And next up, I'm going to try the watermelon chewy crunch. The ingredient is organic watermelon. like a watermelon chip. You can still see the seeds in there. Mmm. It's so sweet and fresh, like a freeze dried mango, but watermelon, which I've never had before. So this is really good. So the last item that I have here is her freeze-dried coconut milk ice cream. And this looks amazing. It's like an ice cream sandwich, but freeze-dried. Oh gosh. It tastes like an ice cream sandwich, but freeze-dried. 
I should have gotten some of the berries because she had like raspberries and strawberries. I think that would be really good on top of oats. And then some of her freeze dried veggies and other snacks would be really good for like if you go hiking. Also, she does have like a mason jar of different dry freezed berries. And if you buy it, you can bring it back the same jar back in and she'll take a dollar off of your purchase for a refill. But all in all, this coconut milk ice cream was really good. I would definitely try the her cheese. It's phenomenal. It's really good. The spicy pizza crunch, it's different. It's like a Pringle, but really a lot healthier. And so, yeah, she has a lot of different options in her little cafe store. So I would definitely go and check her store out. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.